What is it about hemp that's so controversial? Why is it always in the news lately? And is it only because it's tied to medical marijuana? Can it be good? I'll leave the legal discussion to the lawyers. What I'm interested in are potential health benefits. You know, hemp, cannabis, that plant that can be legally grown all over the world and is often used in marijuana production. With all this news, I decided to do a little digging and to try to figure out why hemp is so controversial. I mean, hard liquor is legal and it has no redeeming health qualities whatsoever. So does hemp have any redeeming qualities? We'll find out. With us is the author of Cancer, Step Outside the Box, Ty Bollinger. Hi Ty, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Carol. One of the really incredible things I was reading about in your book was hemp. Yeah. M marijuana, basically. Right. Tell us the history of hemp, because I found this quite unusual. Well, hemp is, has the reputation as being this evil weed. But the medicinal history of hemp is quite fascinating. Back as, as, as far back as the 1930s, there were medicinal hemp tinctures in almost every pharmacy in the United States. Hang on, I want to go even further back. Yeah. Didn't you write in your book that Washington and Jefferson and Lincoln and all these presidents actually grew hemp so it was legal to grow everywhere? They did. And they could use it as they wanted to use it. Yes, as a matter of fact, some farmers in the, the colony of Virginia were required to grow hemp. And so it was, it's such a good fiber, very good for uh, making clothes, a lot of different industrial uses for hemp. Ford thought it was strong enough to make a car out of it, and he, he did. did. One it of was as strong as steel. Yeah, one of the first Model Ts was actually uh, made from hemp, and it ran on hemp fuel. And then the enemy of hemp was... William Randolph Hearst. With paper. Well, yeah, the, Explain with newspapers. that. Well, hemp is a much more efficient way to make paper. Much, uh, in, in one acre of hemp, you can do ten times the amount of paper than one acre of trees. So why did he want it outlawed? Because he owned thousands of acres of, of uh, forest that when he owned paper. He so owned this a was a political thing. It had really nothing to do with hemp itself. Exactly. It really didn't. It was more about the money. It was, it was more about eliminating the competition. And so that's why hemp was demonized and thought of as this evil weed. They put out propaganda films like Reefer Madness and so forth to make people afraid of hemp. When in reality, that's, that's one small use of hemp, the recreational use, which is called, we call it marijuana. Marijuana. But that was a slang term that they developed to make people afraid of it. Oh, heck, Mary Jane, doobies, everything. I exactly. mean, they've got a lot of yeah. slang terms for it. So, in the 1930s, they made tinctures. What were they making the tinctures for, and why were they doing these tinctures? Well, well I mean, the medicinal uses of hemp are, are just numerous. The hemp helps, well, we can talk about the cancer effects of hemp, but it helps with inflammation. It's very anti-inflammatory. It helps with seizures. It's very effective with PTSD for the vets that are coming back that have post-traumatic uh, stress, stress disorder. disorder. Mm -hmm. Very effective at treating that. Um, it's an anti-inflammatory. But then the, the uses of hemp for cancer, what I've studied, because of my book, Cancer Step Outside the Box, and the number of cancers, there's about a dozen different cancers that have been studied in depth with, med with medicinal marijuana, with hemp. And so the, the studies that from brain cancer to prostate cancer to pancreatic cancer, uh, uterine cancer, cervical cancer, prostate cancer, it's amazing. Okay, so what is in uh, hemp yeah. that it's this THC, correct? Well, there's, there's uh, chemicals that are called cannabinoids. Right. THC is uh, short for delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. I'm one glad you said it because I couldn't. That's the only time I'll get it right. I'm glad I got it right. So that's the one, TH, THC is the one cannabinoid that everyone's familiar with. That's right. the one that's psychoactive, and that's the one that gets you high if you smoke it. Okay. But there's other cannabinoids. One, one is called CBD, cannabidiol, and it's very uh, medicinally used. It's, it, it, there's, not, there's no psychoactive component of CBD. So what do they do? Extract these? Do they, they make tinctures? Yeah, they or make you can tinctures. make tea out of? You can make tea. You can eat it. It's a great superfood. You're into raw. A lot of people yes. use raw hemp in their well, do you get high off of hemp if you eat it as a superfood? No, well, or just the seeds. You, well, you've got to heat. You've got to heat the THC to make it become psychoactive. So people that that eat the plant, they put in a smoothie. You know, they're super green smoothies. Right. You're not going to get high off of that because you didn't superheat it. But is it then, if you put it in a smoothie like that, is it good prevention to cancer? It is. It's very well. It's it, it's got a perfect ratio of omega three to uh, to six fatty acids. It's okay. got a it's got more GLA gamma linolenic acid than any other plant. So it's got some really great fats. You're, you're well aware of the importance of right, fats right. in your diet. Yeah. So hemp has, it, it's a perfect superfood to eat, but it's also medicinal. I just never understood why hemp had gotten such a bad rap, and yeah. now I understand that it was really politically motivated by somebody who owned basically trees and didn't want to be in competition with the hemp to make yeah. paper. And yet, throughout the years after that, so many people suffered because of that. Yeah. So 
I, I guess it's actually a good thing that people are coming around a little bit. It is. I'm really encouraged about the different legislation in different states that are trying to legalize medicinal hemp because of the fact that it is so good. It is so, it, it, it's not just a superfood. It's not just great for industrial uses, as we've mentioned, but it is really, it's a really good medicine. Thank you so yeah. much for coming on, Ty. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, Carol. Appreciate it.